And I'm Sophia, and today we're interviewing Delena, who's on the volleyball team. What team are you guys on? We're on A2. What made you want to do volleyball? I wanted to do volleyball because all my friends were trying it. What inspired you to do volleyball? I was inspired because my cousin was on the Anna Kappa team, and she taught me how to play. How old were you when you first started? I was about 10 years old. How many years have you done volleyball? I've done volleyball for about three years. How many games have you guys had? We've had two games. How many games have you guys won? We've won one game. Well, thank you. This concludes the interview. Hi, my name is Miguel, and today I'm interviewing Jaime Gonzalez. So what got you to play uh, football? I have been, it's just been an all-time favorite. Uh, who do you admire uh, in football? Ezekiel Elliott on the Cowboys. Uh, how long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since fourth grade. How many games have you won? Two games. Also, how many have you had? Two. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Rylan. And I'm Mariah. We're going to interview Nina, the vice president of Drama Club. So Nina, how do you feel about Drama Club? Um, I feel like it's a very successful club and that uh, a lot of people have joined it because they think that it's fun and I do too. What does it take to be in Drama Club? Um, well, you don't really have to have any acting experience because we could have stage hands and makeup artists and, like, we could help paint props and stuff like that, too. So you could make anyone can be in Drama Club. Okay. What do you do in Drama Club? Um, well, we practice acting. Like, sometimes we'll do, like, little skits. Like, like kind of like miniature ones or, like, little paragraphs to practice. Or what we do sometimes is like, our, the teacher will have us do like say things, like she'll say like where to go, but it's like in a lang like it's kind of like the drama language, and so we have to like remember what it means and go to the place that she's telling us to go. What play slash skits do you have planned for this year? Well, right now we're practicing our Christmas talent show. It doesn't, it's not like it's not judged or anything. It's mostly just like anyone who wants to be in it can be in it. And um, basically, you could like sing a Christmas song. It just ha anything you do. It just has to be Christmas themed, like a skit or a song. And um, later on, after winter break, we'll be doing Alice in Wonderland. Run, Boy, that's a great question for me because I'm a foodie, but if I had to pick my favorite food, I love sushi and sashimi. Oh, that's good. Yellowtail. That's Eel. <laughs> Bring it on, I'll eat it. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Sophia, and the results for the survey are 50% Mexican food, 30% Asian food, and 10% 10, 10 Italian food and 10% American food. Thank you. Hi, I'm Janet and this is Miss West. Hello. Question one. How long have you been at Prince of This is my 14th year of being a principal. Um, total career in education is 25 years, but I've been a principal for 14 years. Was being a principal your first choice of career? Actually, it wasn't. Um, when I first went to college, I wanted to go into medicine. So I was first going to be a doctor, then I changed to uh, wanting to be a nurse. But whatever uh, field I was going into, it was always going to be uh, working with kids. So I was going to be either a pediatric um, nurse, a pediatrician, but Education was another alternative, um, which I have completely enjoyed for 25 years because I get the chance to still work with kids. Was Vermont your first choice of school? If so, why? It was. Um, I was looking for a change. I'd been 
uh, elementary principal for 11 years and so I needed a different change and challenge and so when I was offered Fremont and I heard um, about the school and, and looked into it I absolutely was um, happy to, to come here. What is your favorite memory about working here? My favorite memory is I'd say there are some awesome teachers and staff members and students. I have met some of my favorite students here and also staff members so this is this is a good place to be just very happy hi my name is ashton and my name is hunter and this is bookworm the book we're going to talk about is percy jackson and the lightning thief hunter who are the main characters the main characters are percy jackson and his friend grover and annabeth what is the book about the book is about two demigods and a gold man trying to find the person who stole Zeus's lightning bolt, trying to prove Percy Jackson is innocent. Who would you recommend this book to? I'd recommend this book to anyone who likes Greek mythology or fantasy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lee Zeus, and your books are on sale. You can get them online at lifetouch.warwepay.com using the code 12366220 at the student store for $25 until October 15th. Hello, my name is Annie and here's some info about Garden Club. Garden Club meets on Wednesdays after school from 3 to 4 in the garden. Garden Club will resume when Mr. Morales comes back in two weeks. Anyone interested can sign in by then. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vianne and I'm going to be interviewing Dominic and Robert um, from ASB. Um, can you tell me a little bit about ASB? Well, ASB? There's a lot of stuff around the school. It mostly does like the contests, the dances, and more. Robert? ASB stands for Associated Student Body, and what we do is such as we do stuff such as morning announcements, going around and taking pictures for Spirit Day, planning dances, um, such as um, the winter dance. The... No, one thing that we're going to do is tobacco bus, and that's a really fun thing for um, sixth graders. It's really fun, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, are there any um, things we could look forward towards the future? Well, for this month, we have, we're planning Red Ribbon Week, and during that week, we're going to have like bump out basketball, wear blue and wear red for anti-drugs and anti-bullying month, such as today, wear blue. Hmm. Then at the end of this month, it's still going to be during Ribbon Week, we're going to Ask you to wear costumes if you want for Halloween. Um, are any of you going to be running for president? Well, that would be me. I might run for president. Wait. No, I might. You know, I'm tired of seeing Talena and Robert fighting it out, so I'm actually just joining. <laughs> um, was it hard getting into ASB? Well, Mr. Ravellis is a very nice guy, so he gives like everyone a chance, but in my opinion, it wasn't that hard. Thank you for your, um, Hello, my name is Naomi. And I'm Brian. And I'll be interviewing Miss Sweet from Art Club. Why did you start Art Club? I started Art Club about six years ago when I noticed that there wasn't many opportunities on campus for students to do art. What are your future plans for Art Club? I believe that this year we'll be doing more painting and working with clay or ceramics. Why should students join Art Club? I think it's a wonderful opportunity for those that are creative who want to just come and have fun and play around with art. What do you enjoy about art club? I enjoy all the energy and the creativeness um, and I think it's a valuable thing for students. Thank you. So come on Wednesdays, room 705, any Wednesday to show up. Hi. Hi, I'm Jackie, and this is Jelena and Carolyn dancing the chicken noodle soup. Billie Eilish spoke out about climate change a few weeks ago on one of her videos saying that our house is on fire. She's saying that if we don't change our habits soon, 
the planet has a high chance of being destroyed, the ice caps will melt, and many animals such as polar bears are struggling to survive. By helping organizations such as Greenpeace or Fridays for Future, you can help protest about climate change too. According to the Terra County Star, a 46-year-old cyclist got injured in a hit and run. The cyclist got dragged 100 feet after he got hit. The, the authorities say that the vehicle fled the scene. This all happened in, on C Street and Conway. Police say. Fortunately, the cyclist isn't dead. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jocelyn. And I'm Sandra. Today we're going to talk about drugs. Vaping and smoking are very bad. Here are some effects about vaping. Vaping can cause dry mouth, dizziness, dry skin, and nose bleeding. Vaping can cause death as well as cigarettes. 7 out of 10 teens start to vape because they're exposed to ads. If you stop this habit, you will have enough money to go on vacation to buy an iPad Air. To support Drug Awareness Month, wear red on October 23rd to the 31st. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Emily. And this is Andrea the Clown. The topic today is the top 10 classic thriller and horror movies, in our opinion. 10 is Friday the 13th, 9 is the original It, 8 is Freddy Krueger, 7 is Scream, 6 is Chucky, 5 is Beetlejuice, 4 is Michael Myers, 3 is The Nightmare on Elm Street, 2 is The Shining, and number 1 is Psycho. Thank, Thank you! you.